Welcome to Lockhead on Marketing, where we're trying the world's first marketing pod storm. 30 days of strategies and ideas to help you create the future of your choosing. Hey ho, let's go. Thanks for pressing play. I'm so glad you're here. On this episode, let's talk about arguably the most important issue facing your marketing as you go forward powerfully. And that is, is your category a must have, a nice to have, or a don't really need to have? I hear a lot from CEOs and CMOs, uh, something along the lines of our problem is that we're too much of a vitamin and not enough of an aspirin. You see, it turns out the more strategic, the more valuable, and the more urgent the perception of your category, the greater the chances are that customers will prioritize your category and therefore your company, your brand, your product, your service, uh, and as a result, buy from you. And I think there's something very important to understand about what's going on right now in the economy. We are all in a game of wallet share, much more than a game of market share. That is to say, customers' wallets, as a result of the recession, are much smaller. And so they are going on a prioritization, deciding what's most important and what they can live without. So that's what we want to deal with today. We're sponsored by my good friends at Oracle NetSuite. Visit netsuite.com slash different today to get your copy of the paper Managing Business Uncertainty and schedule a free product tour. That's netsuite.com slash different. And my friends at Splunk are here to help you with the power of data because Splunk is the leader in data to everything. Visit splunk.com slash D, the number two E, as in data to everything, and learn how to uh, turn data into doing. And uh, also, I want to remind you, go to lockhead.com, L-O-C-H-H-E-A-D, and sign up for our newsletter, The Difference. We've invested a ton there. We're sending you a bunch of awesome stuff. It's free, and we'll never, ever sell your email address. All right, becoming a must-have is job number one, I think. And here's the mistake that I already see companies making as uh, as the economy starts to open up. They are evangelizing their brand, not their category. And here's why that's such a fundamental mistake. Our brand is about us, is about our company, is about our product. The category is about customers, their problems, their opportunities. So categories are about customers and brands are about us. Right now, savvy marketers are focused on their customers and making their space, their category critical. And let me give you a couple of simple examples. Uh, The Washington Post, by way of example, has a very powerful tagline and their tagline is, democracy dies in darkness. Now, what are they not saying? They're not saying, hey, the Washington Post, great, uh, great newspaper, buy our shit. That's not what they're saying. They are laying down a point of view about what they believe about democracy, and they're, po- they're sort of evangelizing this point of view, and as a result, elevating the value of uh, a free press. So they're not marketing themselves, per se. They're marketing the power of a free press with the tagline, which you could argue is a point of view called democracy dies in darkness. Another simple example is Dollar Shave Club. Shave time, shave money. So they are evangelizing shaving and using them as uh, (laughs) the answer to shave. And right now, a lot of us, because we're staying at home, aren't shaving (laughs) very often. And so they're trying to elevate not just themselves, but the category, shave time, shave money. And maybe the greatest category elevating, category evangelizing campaign of all time came from the California Milk Processing Board and their legendary campaign, Got Milk. And they're trying to elevate milk as a choice of beverage there as opposed to other choices. So now's the time to evangelize your category not just your brand. The other interesting thing is the way the human brain works is 
Um, if I think the category is important, then I go to the brand, the number one brand. And here's an aha that almost nobody will ever tell you. If you're the company or the person evangelizing the category, talking about how awesome uh, newspapers are or talking about how awesome getting your shaving shit over the uh, through the mail is, et cetera, um, people will assume you're the category leader. So there's an interesting thing that happens by evangelizing the category and keeping your brand more in the background, you also elevate your brand above everybody else in the category because in the mind of the consumer and in the mind of the customer, the company or the person evangelizing the category must be the category queen or category king. All right, I hope that's helpful. We would like to thank our good friends at Socrates.ai. Now is an incredibly important time to be communicating with your employees. That's why you need to be employee awesome. Check out S O C R A T E S dot AI. Uh, speaking of categories, my friends at Category Design Advisors will help you design and dominate your own category. Visit them on the internet at CategoryDesignAdvisors.com. And if you're in Australia and you want to do legendary marketing, visit my friends at RapidMedia.com. Dot AU. The thought I want to leave you with today comes from the legendary Peter Drucker, who says, whenever you see a successful business, someone once made a courageous decision. Thank you so much. Please stay healthy, stay legendary. And until we're together again, follow your different.